What's up, everybody? I'm back with a vocoder tutorial, and sorry that I'm a little late on it. I was supposed to upload it yesterday, and I didn't get around to it. Um, the process of this through Logic is really simple, and the process may be even simpler depending on the doll you're in. I just ha I just happen to be doing mine in Logic. So if you're using a different doll, just kind of bear with me on the routing process. It may be a little, diff a little different for you. Um, and if you don't exactly know how to route anything, I wouldn't suggest going on with this because I'm not going to be able to tell you how to do it if you're not using Logic. Um, not to mention it's, it's simple anyway. Most of it is self-explanatory. Um, so without any further ado, I'll give you an example of what we're dealing with here. And... Uh, yeah, we'll continue with that. Very lame description there, but uh, you uh, you get the point. Super freaking evil uh, vocoder sent there. Um, it's really robotic. Uh. So yeah, just uh, bear with me on the routing process and hopefully you guys get it. Um, what we want to do is open up a new track and to do that in Logic, just click this plus sign, click audio. Um, if you've got a stereo enabled microphone, it's, it's really cool. Mine unfortunately records in mono, no big deal. My input, my mic is my input one. So make sure that you select for your input whichever um, input your mic is going through. So that varies from computer to computer. It's not always going to be the same. Mine just happens to be input one. So I'm selecting that. Uh, I've already got a track created, so I'm going to click cancel. After that, I like to send my things to a bus. Don't worry about bus four here. Um, but bus one, that happens to be my vocoder track. So to send that to a bus, you want to click and hold, go to bus, and just select whichever bus you want. Mine was bus one, and I titled it vocoder. Um, you'll get, um, here, let me start from scratch here. Just send that to bus one. You'll get this little gray circle here. And technically, it's being sent to the to the bus, but there's no... There's no output going to it, so what you want to do is double click and hit zero so that all of the output from this track is being sent to the bus. Um, once you have that, you should see these this fill up with green halfway in the circle. Um, once you have that, this will originally say stereo output. What you want to do is click and hold and select no output. That way that none of the raw audio that you record or, or whatever is coming through the vocoder or with the vocoder. All you want is the vocoder and the vocoder by itself. Um, I have a couple of inserts on here. I have an EQ and you, the EQ can you can do whatever you want with. I just decided to cut out all the low end. Um, I have a compressor for whenever I record the audio that way that it's a little more beefed up before I process it and bounce it out uh, the noise gate basically what the noise gate does is I have it set to where it cuts out as soon as there's no um, input coming through the mic that way it doesn't get it it doesn't get any of the hissing and the, of the other sound the unnecessary sounds that may be floating around the room at the time that I'm recording it um, so if you want to select, uh, this noise gate, go to dynamics and to noise gate and stereo, and you can copy these settings down if you want. Um, I just found these settings to be useful for, you know, this purpose. Um, after you have your audio track selected, you want to test that out. So I'm actually going to turn it back on. Select stereo or select solo there. Make sure that it's working, and we got it working. 
as you can hear, the noise gate is actually doing its job. It's cutting out as soon as I stop talking. That way that no other sound is going through the vocoder and uh, making some unnecessary racket. So I'm going to unsolo that onto the vocoder. I'm using Logic's uh, vocoder polysynth. Um, very easy to use, very useful. First thing we're going to do is we're going to side chain it to the bus that we sent our um, audio track to, which would be bus one in my case. So we're going to click side chain. Go down to bus one, select, and let's see. By default, you're not going to get any sound unless you have uh, some MIDI notes going through the polysynth. So just open up your piano roll and throw you in some notes there. I've got about 60 measures worth of uh, whole notes, so you don't have to pick these specific ones. They're just the ones that I picked. And um, once you've got some notes in there, open up Polysynth again. And I'm going to go through each of these settings. And I'll describe some of them for you. This, uh, you got your little bit of your frequency range here. Um, I have mine set to 17 bands and taking up the full spectrum of the, uh, the frequency range here. And uh, basically, the more bands, the more frequencies that's going to go through the vocoder. And I just happened to pick 17. I thought that sounded the best. Have it on polysynth. The voice is set to 8. And um, the release is at 12 o'clock. There's no um, delay on the attack. And... We have it set to FM, wave one is set to 16, the FM initializer is at zero, and we have that set to 28, just click and hold if you want to change it, set that to 28. Our levels at 12 o'clock, our cutoff is all the way up, uh, our color is set to blue, and our resonance is at about 1130. Our analog is at about 10 o'clock. Our glide is all the way down. Our bin range is set to five. Um, our pitch LFO is taking up all of this here. I'm still not quite sure what a lot of this does. Um, so just bear with me. I may mispronounce something or misdescribe something. So if I'm incorrect, don't uh, you don't have to flame me. Leave it for the comments. Um, formant stretch, I have it all the way up to two. Formant shift, I have it set to negative 0.38. Our resonance is at 1.70. Um, and our rate is set to 5.05 hertz. We're on a saw wave there. And our sync is set to 64th notes, and the intensity of the LFO is set to 0.12. Um, now onto our sensitivity and our um, our uh, our input levels here. Sensitivity is at zero. We have our mode set to N plus uh, synthesizer. I guess that's what that means. And our UV detection, our levels all the way up, and our stereo width is at 0.14. Our level is at 0 dB, and our ensemble is set to 1. And what's really going to change all of this is what you have your signal selected to. And what the signal means is it's going to grab the signal for, from either the audio or the synthesizer. So what you want to do is make sure that you have vocals selected. And um, after you have that side chained, all you should have to do is open this up, piano roll, and talk. You can um, you know, hold in whatever, 
hold in whatever notes you want. Hold in whatever notes you want. Sorry that I keep doing that. <laughs> I'm sure it's throwing you off. Um, and talk. And you can get some different effects depending on what you have your uh, intensity set at. If I turn the intensity all the way down, I get this effect. So we're going to set mine back to uh, 0.12 if I can get it. Probably not. Oh well. We'll be alright without it. Not a big deal. Um, anyway, yeah guys, it's not a not a difficult process. I'll um, I'll answer any more questions that you guys may have. If I can help, I'll help. So until next time, guys, just stay tuned. Subscribe, share my videos if you can. Um, just uh, stay tuned to the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.